here. So Sarah wanted a stack of grass. Humans, even when we cross our teams and die our Hey guys, it's Louie Louie here, and welcome to part 2 of my installing Windows from Ubuntu tutorial. In the last part of this tutorial, I showed you how to dual boot Windows and Ubuntu, and in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to replace Ubuntu with Windows. I will have an annotation to take you to part 1 of the tutorial about now. To do this, you are going to need either a Windows DVD, or you are going to need a Windows ISO file. But if you use a Windows ISO file, you are going to need either a USB flash drive, which can fit the ISO file, or a DVD that can fit um, file. Now, if you are using a Windows DVD, you can skip these next few steps as they won't be relevant to you. But if not, you still need to follow along. If you're using a Windows ISO file and plan, in booting, plan on booting into it using a DVD, then what you're going to want to do is find your ISO file, right click on it, go to write to disk, select your disk from the drop down list and hit create image. If you're using a USB flash drive and plan to boot the ISO from there, you want to open up this link which I will have in the description and then if you're using a 64-bit operating system you simply want to highlight this code and paste it into a terminal but if you're using a 32-bit operating system you want to highlight this code and put it into your terminal I'm using a 32-bit operating system so I'm going to do that now that that's done what you're going to want to do is type this line of command into the terminal then you're going to want to hit enter. It's going to ask you for a password. Then you're going to hit enter. And that will install it. Now you want to get this line of code, copy that, and paste it into the terminal. Once this is finished, you will have successfully installed... Oh yes, you also want to click Y when this comes up. Once this is installed, you will have successfully installed an app called WinUSB, which will allow you to make a live USB flash drive so that you can boot into your Windows USB flash drive from... Sorry, so you can boot into the Windows ISO from the USB flash drive. Now that this is done, you can go to your dash home, and if you type WinUSB, it'll come up here. Once this loads, what you're going to want to do is find your Windows ISO, by clicking on the button I just clicked on and f then you want to find your USB flash drive then once this, that is done you want to hit install it's going to ask you for your password and this isn't going to work for me because I'm not using a real ISO right now as I'm only doing this for demonstrative purposes This will probably take up to 5 to 10 minutes to install, so I'm going to pause the video till this is done. Okay, once that is installed, you want to go to this site. I will have all the links to every site in the description. Once you're on this site, you want to scroll down, and you will see a chart here. This chart shows you how to access your boot device list so that you can boot into your live DVD or USB flash drive. If you are using a Windows DVD, this step is also re relevant to you. You want to find your computer on the left. For example, if I was using an Asus K25F notebook, I would be on this chart. And then you want to find the boot menu that corresponds with that. So it would be F8 if I was using whatever I just said. Um, you basically want to find your boot menu for whatever computer you have. And if it's not on here, you can always do a Google search on how to access boot device list and then you would type your computer um oops i did not mean to do that once you have know that number what you're going to want to do is when you restart your computer and then when the splash screen comes up you're going to want to press the key i just told you to remember once that happens a list will come up and if you're using a dvd then you should select dvd or something along the lines of dvd if you're using a usb flash drive your flash drive should be detected and if not you just want to click usb or something along the lines of USB. I'm using a Windows DVD, so I'm going to restart my computer and put the Windows DVD into my computer. I'm going to be doing Windows 7 in this demonstration, however, they should all be similar because they're all Windows. Okay, I've just put my Windows DVD into my computer, and now I'm going to hit CD-ROM, 
and it's going to say press any key to boot from the CD or DVD and you just want to hit oh, any button. This shouldn't take too long to load but it could take up to five minutes because running from a USB flash drive or DVD is generally a lot slower than running from an actual um, like computer. Okay, mine's coming up. And now, basically, it should be similar for all of our operating systems, but generally it's along the lines of hitting next and then hitting install now. And then um, choose your architecture. Um, it depends on what computer you use. For me, it's uh, times 86. Then accept the license terms. Basically, you want to cl just click next, 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 next. And then if anything like this comes up, you just want to hit custom. And then you should get to some sort of partition editor that looks something like this. And it's going to say it can install it to either of these because these are your Linux partitions. This is probably the Linux swap and this is the actual Ubuntu. So you want to go to something along the lines of drive options. And then you want to click delete and delete both of these. Now you're going to have just unallocated space. Once you have this unallocated space, you want to click new and then you want to click apply now what you want to do is click next and now once you've done that it is installing windows to your computer and ubuntu will be wiped out do not click next before you make sure you have nothing on Ubuntu that you forgot to take with you because this is once again wiping everything from Ubuntu out once you've done this um, you may not be able to boot into your computer right away simply because corrupt might still be installed and you need to get rid of that so once this is finished I'm going to show you how to fix that Okay, my Windows has um, just finished installing and it restarted my computer. And as you can see, I've gotten this grub rescue thing because um, Ubuntu is gone. Now there is an easy fix to that problem. All you have to do is restart your computer and boot back into either your Windows USB flash drive or DVD. So I'm just going to restart that. I'm running in VirtualBox, which is why it looks weird. But yeah, I'm going to boot back into my CD and once this loads I'm going to show you how to fix this problem I'll pause the video till this is loaded alright now I'm at the install now screen that I was at before but instead of clicking install now I'm going to go to repair my computer and I didn't fully install windows so it's probably not going to detect anything but I'm just gonna click next anyways and eventually you will get to a screen that looks like this you wanna open up a command prompt and then you wanna type boot rec slash fix mbr then you wanna type boot rec slash fix boot then you wanna type boot rec slash scan os then it should say 1 here it says 0 for me because I didn't fully um, install it and then I believe the last one is let me just check yeah boot rec slash re build pc d and then once that's done just simply type exit and reboot your computer and you will be able to successfully boot into Windows. Now, obviously, it's not going to work for me because I got 1% through the installation and then um, stopped. So, thank you all for watching. And I will once again leave links to part one in the video and in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Adios.